Okay, well, let's uh, get started. Uh, welcome to this uh, session on uh, future directions and new challenges in mathematical statistics. Um, I'm Peter McCullough, the organizer, and uh, well, let me just say a few words about prediction. Prediction is, is easy. Prediction is easy, particularly about the future. Um, of course, the difficulty is, as, as Shakespeare said, uh, you can summon devils from the deep, but will they come? Um, the best that we can hope for, perhaps, is that we won't be proved wrong before the week is out. Um, but that doesn't always happen. Uh, I'm reminded of uh, an incident uh, back here, here in Dublin a few years ago where I was showing around a physicist friend of mine, John Ralston, from Kansas. And so I was explaining to him how the Irish weather goes and how it's different from the weather uh, in, in, the, in the Midwest, in Chicago and, and all over the Midwest, where in the summer we typically have uh, very heavy showers that last for... Uh, perhaps an hour or so, and maybe dump an inch of rain. And I was explaining to him this never happens in uh, in, in, in Ireland, uh, and with full confidence, you know, having based on, on 50 years of experience. Uh, but we were walking uh, uh, near Trinity College, Dublin, and up through Trinity College Yard, and, and it started to drizzle. And I was told him confidently, "Don't worry, you know, just keep going. It'll 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 pass, and it won't." But it, uh, suddenly, as we were about halfway up uh, the, the yard, the heavens opened, uh, just to, to prove me wrong, I think, and, and the, 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 it, it rained just as heavily as it ever does in Chicago or the, or the Midwest, and it was so much so that we were forced to retreat to the porter's lodge and wait it out. And of course I explained to him, you know, it doesn't ever happen, and it probably won't last very long. Uh, but uh, it, it kept going and going, and uh, so much so that the uh, rain began to flood into the porter's lodge. The porter's gate is a little bit depressed relative to the rest of the ground, so the water started to flow in, and <coughs> eventually we were uh, forced to climb up onto the bollards uh, to, uh, to save our shoes. And I had a new pair of shoes on, I remember this well, a uh, new pair of shoes on. I didn't want them to, to get wet, so I had to climb up onto the bollards and take the shoes off and the socks off while standing on a bollard holding on to the corner of the building. This is no mean feat. Uh, and eventually I had to wade out, wade out from the porter's lodge, having made, confidently made this weather prediction to John. So my, my, my uh, entire credibility was shot in, the, in this matter. So I'm, but, but one is never deterred from making predictions. And I found myself in the same boat this morning on the way in with Steve Stigler, who noticed that threatening clouds down toward the end of the Liffey, and I, I, I made the mistake of saying to him, you know, those are in the east, and the weather travels generally from west to east. So if my previous track record is anything to go by, there are going to be floods here this afternoon. <laughs> anyway, um, so what do we do uh, for prediction? Generally speaking, we look at the past, statistical, uh, and statistical developments in the past are generally been... Uh, driven by the needs of society. Censuses, surveys, uh, agricultural statistics, needs of society, health and epidemiology in particular. Um, there are other society needs too that are easily overlooked when you start going into that sort of thing. And we shouldn't uh, forget that much of what we know about statistics much, uh, comes from uh, other areas, perhaps shadier areas, such as gambling, and, and, and nowadays that would be called finance and, and, and risk management. Um, there are demands there. And, of course, uh, I think a lot of it is going to be uh, depend on technology, what technologies we have available, um, particularly computers. Obviously, computers have have had a substantial effect on the way we do things. Now, in the title of this section today, it does specifically say mathematical statistics. But I've asked our panel, and we have a distinguished panel 
uh, here today, which this uh, absolves me of the responsibility for making predictions. So all of, all of the all uh, all of the blame will fall on the panel. The panel. Uh, uh, distinguished international panel is John Del Castillo from the Department of uh, Mathematics uh, at the Autonomous University of Barcelona. There's Elvira Di Nardo, who is a combinatorialist and an expert on umbral calculus uh, from the University of Basilicata in Potenza, Italy. There's uh, Shali Meng, who is an expert in missing data, professor and chairman of the Department of Statistics at Harvard University and Rosemary Bailey from Queen Mary and Westfield College, who's a, an expert in the design of experiments and has written three books, uh, one on design of comparative experiments, one on association schemes, and one on, on linear models. So I'm going to ask, uh, so the format uh, for today is going to be as follows. It's supposed to be a round table uh, discussion, but I want each of our four experts to make a, an initial statement of whatever length of time it takes, 15 to 20 minutes. And uh, at the end of that time, we will uh, sit up here and, and, be, and begin our discussions. And if the opportunity arises, I will also involve people from the audience. Um, I can't actually see most people in the audience, particularly in the first four or five rows, so I may call, uh, I will invite comments from the audience. But, uh, so to get the ball rolling, I'm going to call on John Del Castillo.